his years on this old horse. Mr. Chris, way at the bottom of the handicap. Paris Valley in the yellow. Cranlome after him. And the grey there, the grey horse. Well, the last time a grey horse won was Nicholas Silver, and that was a very long time ago. Be with Villiers Town. Bill Smith has struggled back from the uh, saddling boxes now. Bill, this is a great moment for a rider. Yes, really, and what a marvellous day to have it on. It's weather's really turned us up a true treat here. It's lovely sunshine. These horses are all nice and relaxed, just warm. In by Peter Ransom. He was bought from Arthur Moore, but um, in actual fact, uh, Arthur has a, a great affection for this one, and Tom Tapp, his stable jockey, actually rides it. Yes. Behind him, Bonanza Boy and 30-year-old Peter Scudamore, his ninth national. Then West Tip. West Tip, written by Richard Dunwoody, the previous winner, of course. Behind him is Durham Edition and Chris Grant, 32, riding in his ninth national. Behind him is Steersby, written by Brendan Powell, 28. Behind... Uh, Steersby is Bob Tisdall and John White. Never, he's always got round, all his five nationals so far, 29 years old. Behind him, Carl Llewellyn on Smart Tower, he's 23. Then Mona Noor and 30-year-old Graham McCourt riding in his fifth national. Finished three times this horse. Gala's image, a last representative for Mercy Rymel, being followed by Newnham and Mr. Simon Andrews, 28 years old. And uh, behind him, behind Newnham, his last of the Brownies and 30-year-old Tommy Carmody, the current Irish champion. And behind him, Tom Morgan, putting up three-pound overweight as expected on Dixton House, 25 years old. And this is uh, Newnham in the hoop colours there. Behind him is last of the Brownies, Tommy Carmody. Behind him is Dixton House. Behind Dixton House is Paris Valley, the Irish national winner, written by Brendan Pe Sheridan. 28 years old, uh, Paris Valley's rider, and behind him is Gainsay and Mark Pittman riding in his first national, 22 years old. And behind uh, Gainsay is, is uh, Memberson, ridden by Mr. Guy Upton. Behind him is Attitude Adjuster, the star there on the colours of Boots Madden, Nile Madden, 30 years old. He was fifth uh, last year. Behind him, Cranloam. 25-year-old Kevin O'Brien. Behind him is Suggest and Michael Hammond. Mickey Hammond with a 17-inch pin in his thigh. He's 26 years old. The gallant driver of this Suggest who's being followed by Queensway Boy. A first-time ride for Alan Webb who broke his pelvis 12 months ago. 32 years old, Alan. Behind him is Beam Wham, 33-year-old David Nader Nerland, who sweated off uh, well over a stone, 21 pounds recently. Behind him is Little Polver, Jimmy Frost. Behind Jimmy Frost is Tom Taff on the grey, Sergeant Sprite. Then comes Bartries, Graham Bradley, 28-year-old Graham. Then Mr. Baker, Michael Moran. Behind him is Team Challenge, Michael Bowlby in the blinkers there. Then the hoops of David Pitcher, 53 years old. Behind him is Sean Dem. Liam Cusack, 28 then is Serimo, written by Peter Hobbs, 29 is next, Russell, written by David Tegg, behind him is Friendly Henry, who finished sixth last year, son of Eve Friendly, this written by Hugh Davis, and now we're with them going down towards the start with Russell leading Friendly Henry, behind them Mithras, but this is uh, Russell, then Friendly Henry. In the race is 14-year-old Smart Side. There's Bob. Well, Durham, Durham Edition is back to eight to one, and Dixon House also eight to one. So we have joint favourites. The Thinker ten to one, but Anza Boys elevens. West Tip twelve to one, and it opened at sixteen. Remember, Steersby fourteen to one, Paris Valley sixteen to one, Smart Tower and uh, Last of the Brownies eighteen to one, twenty to one by eight. Written by Brendan Powell, who won it, of course, last year. 28 years old, uh, Brendan. And this horse trained by Gerald Ham. He's only been in his stable a very few weeks. 37 there is the Thirsty Farmer. Another one of Martin Pipes. Uh, Lars Kelp, the Danish rider. Uh, winner of the Swedish National previously. 25 years old, having his first ride here at Entry on this blinkered 
horse on whom he's putting up two pound overweight. That still uh, carries only 10 2. And uh, still a little while before they're called into line. There's Queensway boy there, number 18, with his star, Merlin in front. That uh, once again is Brown Tricks. Looking very relaxed, uh, Brown Tricks' his rider, having his third ride in the race. Memberson cur currently dismounted by Guy Upton. This horse had a very recent run at uh, Sandown. Mr. Chris on the far side with Serimo number 28, friendly hand up. 7 to 1 Dixton House, 8 to 1 Durham Edition, 10 to 1 The Thinker, 11 to 1 Bonanza Boy, and 12 to 1 Bar Those Four. And this is the new favorite, uh, Dickie, who's supposed to have an absolutely prodigious appetite. That's the joint favorites at 7 to 1. Unseparated in the market. The Thinker 10 to 1, Bonanza Boy 10 to 1, 12 to 1 by the 4. And now they're beginning to get called in. The 40 runners beginning to spread across the course. A roar from the crowd as they're being called in. The start up with O and Bob Tisdall breaks the tape. Bob. It's a pretty good line. Steersby and Queensway Boy just a little bit behind the other. This looks like it's got away. And they're running. And in the early stages, West Chip goes right up there. The early stages from Mithras and Newnham and Little Paul Bear and C and Dem and last of the Brownies. Then on the inside comes Cranlone on the outside, Mr. Chris with Bonanza Boy and Brown Tricks making ground on the far side too. It's West Chip though in the centre. Dixton House is well up there. Also Mr. Chris and over on the far side, Brown Tricks and over to John Hanmer. And Bob Testall actually refused to start. He's only just about started now as Brown Tricks leads them over the first. A very bad mistake <coughs> by Smart Tower. Beam Wham jumps it towards the rear of the field and the only faller there is Surrey Mao, though Bob Tistle hasn't yet got to the fence. Over the second, the Brian Tricks and Mr. Pitcher, 53 years old on the far side, leads the national field. They're all clear. Steersby right up with him. Then in the centre is Mr. Chris West Tip on the near side. Dixton House is right up with the leaders. All the leaders over the big ditch safely. And I haven't seen a faller yet. Right at the back of the field, Sidbury Hill. And no fallers at the third as they go to the fourth. Steers beyond the wide outside. Bob Tistle's refused. They jump the fourth. And over to you, Julian Wilson. Steers be led over that one. Brown Tricks made a bit of a mistake. Uh, Queensway boys there in the centre. Mr. Chris also there in the centre. And Dixton House is right up with the leaders, as is West Tip just behind the leaders. And Newnham right on the inside as they come to the one before Beecher. Steers be over from Dixon House over in second, West Tip third. Newnham is over in fourth. Close behind the leaders is Smart Tar, who made a bad mistake early, and now they race down to Beecher's Brook with Steersby in the lead. Steersby on the wide outside from Dixon House and West Tip and Mr. Chris and Newnham and Mithras on the inside as they jump Beecher's. And Dixon House is down! Dixon House is down! And Attitude Adjust has made a terrible mistake. And another baller at the back is Brown Tricks. He's down. And Suggest also as they jump the next one. And four tricks, uh, uh, Brown Tricks also is down, as I called before, but the leaders now, Steersby, Steersby from West Tip, Mathras going up in the inside, Newnham is in fourth, behind those team challenge from Mr. Chris, Smart on the outside, middle pole there as they jump the canal turn, Steersby over, from Mithras in second, Newnham in the inside of West Tip, behind those a team challenge from Mr. Chris, then Smart Tower and little pole there, then Durham addition, behind that is last of the Brownies and Queensway Boy and Mononor as they jump the next one, and all the leaders over there, in fact, everything jumps the next. A bad mistake at the back by Smart Side as we rejoin John Hammer. And Steersby, the leader from West Tip, then Mithras, Newnham.
Team Challenge is next. Then towards the outside, Smart Tar. Then Little Polvia as they stream over that one. And they're all safely over, except for a few stragglers yet to jump. And West Tip and Steersby dispute the lead from Mithras, Newnham, Team Challenge, Mr. Chris. Then Smart Tar and Little Polvia. And then Durham Edition. And Steersby has gone at that one. And going to the next, it's West Tip from in second place, Newnham. Friendly Henry's a faller. Mr. Chris has moved up. And as they jump the next, it's West Tip from Newnham. Then Team Challenge. Then Mr. Chris right up with them. And as they go towards the Melling Road on the first circuit, the leader is West Tip from Newnham. Then Little Polvia. Team Challenge, Mr. Chris. Then Smart Tar, Kersel. And behind them is Mononor. And West Tip, the leader, as they go to the 13th fence and over to Peter O'Sullivan. Yes, West Tip taking him along from Kersel on the outside. Little Polver on the inside. Behind them is Newnham. Then comes Smart Tar. Then comes Cranlone. Mononor is not far behind the lead. Then comes Mithras being followed by... Bonanza Boy towards the inside as they race down towards the next. And West Tip still taking him along from Kersil and Little Polver. Then comes Cranlone. Behind Cranlone is Bonanza Boy towards the near side. Over on the far side is Smart Tar. And Mr. Chris still going strongly there. Running down now towards the next and still. West Tip being pressed by Kersil towards the stand side. Then comes Miss Rass and Little Paul Bear on the far side, all safely over that one with Sidbury Hill a long way behind the remainder. And as they come down to this, it's West Tip from Little Paul Bear, Kersil, Newnham. Then Miss Rass on the far side. On the near side is Mr. Chris, and then last of the Brownies, and Mona Noor. Coming down past the chair, and the only faller at the chair is Smart Side as they come to the water, and it's Kersil on the near side of the pole there on the far side. West Tip is right up with him. Then over on the far, far side is Team Challenge making good ground. Behind uh, Team Challenge is Bonanza Boy, then last of the Brownies, then Newnham and Mononor on the inside. Behind them come Durham Edition and then the Thinker as they race towards the Milling Road. It's Little Paul Bear and West Tip from Kersil. Then on the inside, Mithras, last of the Brownies, then Smart Tar. Then behind them come Team Challenge. Behind uh, Team Challenge is Mona Noor. And as they race towards the next, with Little Paul Bear and West Tip disputing it, and Kersil up there over to John Hanmer. And Little Paul Bear comes to the 17th, just in the lead from Kersil, then West Tip. Then smart side towards the outside with last of the brownies. And on the near side, Mithras, no fallers at that, coming to fence number 18. And little Pavia lands in the lead from smart tar. Last of the brownies, Kersel, West Tip, Mithras, Team Challenge, Mononor. There are plenty in with a chance. And Beam Wham has been pulled up as they jump the 19th, the open ditch. And a mistake on the inside by Mithras. But as on the last circuit, there have been no fallers among the leaders, but Queensway Boy looks as if he's refused as they jump the 20th, Little Polvia, and Smart Tar has gone there, it's Little Polvia from Last of the Brownies, West Tip, Bonanza Boy, Durham Edition, and over to Julian Wilson. Gains they went to that last ditch on the first circuit, Hettinger and Sergeant Sprite also fell at Beaches, and over that it was Little Polvia who's clear of the Grand National Field. Last of the Brownies in second towards the outside, Bonanza Boy getting much closer now, West Tip's going really well, Gala's image is there on the outside as they come down to Beaches Brook for the second time, and the leader in the Grand National is Little Polvia and they're being forced to the right to avoid a dead horse on the outside and second is Bonanza Boy behind that uh, last of the brown is on the inside is West Tip behind that is Durham Edition on the inside Mon and all going well and then Team Challenge and then Gala's Image as they come to the 23rd fence Little Polvia over from West Tip over in second Bonanza Boy on the outside of last of the brown is then creeping through in the inside Mon and all behind those is Durham Edition then Team Challenge and then Gala's Image and then Newnham and behind Newnham 
Coast barges as they come to the canal turn for the second time. Little four, Vero, but West Div over in second, Mononoy third, Loss of the Brown is fourth. Bonanza Boy on the outside of Team Challenge, then Durham Edition, behind Durham Edition is Gala's image, then making a bit of ground from the back is the Thinker and Newnham and Bartris as they jump the one after that and all the leaders over that and up front it's still Little Polvia from West Tip cruising. Last of the Brown is Mononor and Team Challenge as we rejoin John Hammer. And Little Polvia jumps the fifth from home, that's the one he went at last year, this time he's all right. Last of the Brown is his second, Mononor third, West Tip four, Team Challenge five. Bonanza Boy six, Durham Edition going well, seven, Bartris has been pulled up and as they jump the fourth from home, the last open ditch, Little Polvia over in the lead from last of the Brownies in second place, then Mononor Team Challenge, West Tip, Bonanza Boy, Durham Edition and Gala's Image. They're well clear of the thinker, the thirsty farmer and Newnham as they jump the third from home. And Little Polvia from on the inside, last of the Brownies, then Team Challenge, West Tip, Mononor, Bonanza Boy, Durham Edition and Gala's Image. And as they go to the Melling Road with two to jump, it's Little Polvia, the leader. In second place, last of the Brownies. Then moving up into third is Durham Edition, four Team Challenge, five West Tip, six Bonanza Boy, seven Gala's Image, eight Mononor, nine the thinker, a long gap to the thirsty farmer and Newnham and over to Peter O'Sullivan. So it's Little Paul there from last year's second Durham edition at the moment. Then on the inside comes last of the Brownies. Team challenge, Bonanza Boys there. West Tip is losing ground. And Gala's image is making it. Gala's image whose rider has lost his cap is making ground from the rear. He's just overtaken Mona Noor. And it's Little Paul there now from Durham edition and last of the Brownies of Bonanza Boy and the Thinker as they come to the second last. Little Paul there lands in the lead from Durham edition a little between the two mistake by the thinker over on the far side Mononor team challenge and as they come down to the final fence it's little Polver from Durham edition is little between the two Durham edition and little Polver land together from the thinker in third then comes last to the brownies they're racing towards the elbow and it's little Polver from Durham edition then comes West Tip and the thinker finishing fast Racing into the final 225 yards, it's Little Polvo from the Thinker. West Tip is putting in a great challenge over on the far side. Last of the Brownies is finishing well, but Little Polvo is holding him and he's going to win it. Little Polvo has a riderless horse to beat, and Little Polvo has won it. West Tip is second, the Thinker is third, last of the Brownies fourth, Dunham Edition fifth, Mononor sixth, seventh. With Gala's image, eighth Bonanza Boy, ninth was Team Challenge, tenth was Newnham, eleventh was the Thirsty Farmer. This is the winner being congratulated by Steersby's rider. The next to finish, a Sidbury Hill and Attitude Adjuster with Mr. Baker last. But here is Little Polver. Ridden by Jimmy Frost in his first national. 30-year-old Jimmy Frost, who has succeeded where the great Ron Barry failed so many years ago in 1971 for John Edwards when Lucky Sprite jumped the last in front and then uh, broke down. But Little Polver trained by Toby Balding, now, who won with Highland Wedding in 1969, so he's completed a fantastic double, having won the earlier race this afternoon with the champion hurdler Beach Road. An amazing double for Toby Balding, who took this horse over from John Edwards and has now won Steeplechasing's most coveted prize. He was going great guns last year when he unseated his rider at the fifth last. And what a first ride for 30-year-old Jimmy Frost. What hard luck on uh, John Edwards that he doesn't still have this horse. Of course, he was responsible this time for Dixton House, who was a faller out in the country uh, at Beaches on the second circuit. On the first circuit, I should say. But Jimmy Frost looking amazingly cool after his great triumph one cannot omit a word of regret for 
uh, Chris Grant, who looked to be hacking when upsides him on Durham Edition at the second last and at the last, but Durham Edition last year's second just couldn't get any life out of this dead ground as this horse did so gamely. Back in 1969, that uh, Toby Boarding won it with Highland Wedding and now is 52nd winner of the season. The number 36 for Jimmy Frost, his new uh, stable rider. Being followed in there by last of the Brownies. I don't think in the excitement I ever actually recapped the one, two, three, four in the 1989 National, in which the result was first number 21, Little Polvar, owned by Mr. Edward Harvey, trained by Toby Boulding, and written by Jimmy Frost. Second was number three, the 1986 hero, West Tip, owned by Mr. Peter Love, trained by Michael Oliver, and written by Richard Dunwoody. And third was number one, The Thinker, the top weight, owned by T.P. McDonough Limited, trained by Arthur Stevenson, and written by Simon Sherwood. Fourth was number 11, last of the Brownies, owned by Mrs. Anderson.